As part of your category C plus E test, you will be required to couple and uncouple the tractor and trailer units, just as you would in the real world. This video has been designed to show you exactly what you'll need to do in order to complete the exercise. Remember, you'll need to be on firm level ground with your engine switched off and your trailer brake applied. At Northeast Driving School, we explain to all our candidates that the best thing to do is to remove, or rather for test purposes, inform the examiner that you would remove the number plate before doing anything else. Not all driving schools will make this one of the first stages of the exercise. However, removing your number plate is one of the easiest things to forget. So make this a priority and you'll be reducing the chances of anything going wrong. For the remainder of the exercise, we follow black. Apply the trailer handbrake, lower the landing legs, disconnect the airlines, unhook the clip, and pull the kingpin loose. Let's now take a look at this in action. You can now see the driver reversing up onto level solid ground, switching the engine off, putting the trailer brake on, lowering the landing legs and stowing away the handle safely. Next, we need to deal with disconnecting the airlines. Make sure you adopt the three points of contact method when climbing up and onto the catwalk. Now you can see the clip being removed. Sometimes pulling the kingpin loose can prove quite difficult. You'll need to pull the handle out towards you and drag it towards the front of the trailer unit until you can clearly see it coming loose. And that's it. For all concerned, the tractor and trailer units are disconnected. The remaining stage is to drive the tractor unit out from underneath the trailer. During your exam, you should reverse this parallel along the side of the trailer unit as the instructor is doing now. From this point, your examiner will want to see you checking both units over as you would should this be an unfamiliar trailer in the real world. At this stage in your career, you should be familiar with the walk around check. However, on the screen in front of you, you'll notice some of the basic items you should be checking. Of course, when driving an articulated vehicle, you should be aware of the need to inform the examiner that you will need to check the height of the vehicle, the trailer parking brake is being applied, check the condition of the fifth wheel, and that all the trailer lights are in good condition and the rear clusters aren't damaged. During the recoupling of the tractor and trailer units, it would pay any candidate to ensure they inform the examiner of the need to check all trailer lights are working correctly and that the number plate should be applied to the trailer. This is essential to the success of your test. The recoupling procedure is simply what you've just done, but backwards. Attach the kingpin, rehook the clip, connect the airlines, retract the trailer legs, and push off the trailer brake. Remember, check the tractor and trailer number plates are the same, as well as to ask the examiner to check that all of the lights on the trailer are working correctly. Let's watch this step by step. Upon moving off, pull the tractor unit in line with the trailer and slowly reverse up underneath it. 
until you hear the tractor and trailer unit click together. Upon successful completion of hooking both units together, try and drive the whole unit forward twice. We call this a tug test. You'll feel some resistance, which is what we want, as pulling forward is our way of confirming that the units are attached in place. Remember to do this twice. Once you've done this, turn the engine off again and reattach the clip. This whole procedure is a bit of a dirty job, so make sure that you ask your instructor for your free pair of gloves we give all C plus E candidates. Next, attach the airlines, again adopting the three points of contact when gaining entry onto the catwalk. And finally, you'll retract the trailer landing legs and release the trailer handbrake. Notice how the instructor now goes to check the number plate and how now he is in the cab checking his lights. During your test, the examiner will stand to the rear of the unit and confirm your lights are working. However, it is up to you to request this. If you don't do this, your test will not achieve the result we all want. And now each of these steps are complete, you can drive away and show off your driving capabilities. Remember though, before moving off, check both mirrors and your blind spot just as you would normally.